idea of this demonstrator is to prove that we can suspend uh, liquid metals thanks to electromagnetic forces. Those electric electromagnetic forces are, uh, they will exist in the final stellarator, so we want to be able to deal with them. We have this very unique technology that we want to spearhead at Renaissance Fusion, which is using liquid metals uh, directly inside the chamber uh, to uh, First of all, extract the heat coming from the plasma, uh, but also we want to use it as a tritium breeding um, uh, blanket, uh, so to produce the fuel needed for the fusion directly inside uh, this liquid mill, liquid mill, and also to protect the inside of the reactor, so all the solid parts, uh, from neutron bombardment, uh, which are the main reason for uh, material activation and degradation uh, of those machines. We first start the experiment by melting the tin. As tin is molten, we apply pressure to the tin, ta tin tank. We transfer the liquid tin to the experiment and then turn on the pump. As the pump is turned on, it starts circulating liquid metal in our experimental loop and injects it in chamber with two high velocity, high flow rate jets. They're hot in temperature. Uh, we plan to heat them up up to 850 degrees and they will be in presence of strong magnetic and electric field. What we've done so far is uh, we've demonstrated the pumping, so the, the sizing of this pump, which we've made ourselves, uh, works. So uh, we know that we can uh, pump the, the metal at flow rates and, and pressures uh, that um, will allow us to do our experiments. We've also demonstrated that we can eat and melt the tin and transfer it to the main vessel. Right now, we believe it's at 0.52. The main challenges in this experiment are the fact that we're circulating very hot liquid metal up to 150 Celsius, along with magnets that are cold down to minus 250 Celsius. So we have very hot liquid metal along with very cold magnets very close by, and we need to insulate well, but also have heating and cooling efficiently in the magnet. The second main challenge is reaching high magnetic field force. I guess stop. So for our future stellarator, this experiment is of utmost importance because it showcases the integration of our technologies and allows us to build a reactor that is more compact, which means more compact means higher heat flux, and so we can deal with the increased heat flux with liquid metal walls, but we need to sustain them with high flow magnets. Uh, take ski there and see if it's 
first items. So for us it's a big relief because we've been working on this experiment for almost a year and a half. And so going from the drawing board to the CAD design and then starting assembly. And so this is a culmination of a, month, a year and a half of work. And so we're all extremely proud of ourselves and excited to you know, see the experiments and the real thing in action.